Hey everyone, welcome to the demo of Magical. My name's Claire and I'm gonna walk you through some of Magical's top use cases. But first things first, what is Magical? So Magical is a productivity app that allows anyone to speed through their repetitive, soul-crushing tasks so you can focus on what matters or simply just take a break. We help teams such as sales, customer support, or recruiters and others speed up tasks such as messaging or automate data entry workflows. The beauty here is that Magical doesn't require any complicated integrations to get started. You just download the Chrome extension and you're ready to go. Next up, I'll go through a live demo of our top use cases, such as messaging with templates, using AI to generate messages, or automate workflows such as data entry to sheets or to databases like a CRM or an ATS. To download Magical, go to the Magical Chrome store listing, hit add to Chrome, and then download the Chrome extension and go through the authentication process. The first thing you'll wanna do is open up the puzzle icon and pin the application to your browser bar. This ensures that you can access Magical whenever you're going to different sites or applications. So next we're gonna to start to create our messaging templates. Navigate to the Magical workspace by opening up a new tab and clicking on the Magical icon from the browser bar. Here's your workspace. You can see I'm in my personal workspace with all of my personal templates here. And then I can see which teams I have access to on the left side nav. So let's create our first template. Hit the create button and give your template a trigger. This will be how you recall this message in the future. Let's say I'm in sales and I'm doing some outreach messaging on LinkedIn. I'm going to tr use the trigger outreach with some punctuation in the beginning so that I don't accidentally trigger this template as I whenever I type outreach. Then I'm going to start to build my template using placeholder text so that Magical can automatically fill this information out for me. I'm going to start to include a placeholder for a company name. Great, so now I have my messaging template saved in Magical and I wanna go use this on LinkedIn. And I'm gonna do a search for marketing managers. These are all the people I wanna reach out to with my messaging template. I'm gonna open up each of them into a separate tab and then go to the first tab and send a connection request with a personal note. So I can either type out my trigger or if you don't wanna to have to remember your trigger, you just hit forward slash forward slash on your keyboard and you'll see a dropdown of all of your saved uh, templates in Magical for you to access. I'll click on outreach and here's where the magic happens. So Magical is recognizing that I am on a profile with first name and company name. So it's actually gonna to start to suggest this information from the browser behind me. So it's recognizing Nick and Snowflake is the company. I can click on that and fill this out really quickly. I can go to the next profile and do the same thing. So forward slash, forward slash, click outreach, and it's showing the first name and company name here. And I can quickly go through these one by one. This will also work if you're in Gmail and you open up a new message here hit forward slash forward slash, and it'll start to look at the different people or tabs that I have open and bring this information into my message. So how is this working? So what it's doing is looking at the LinkedIn page and then recognizing the labeled information on this page. So if I open up the magical panel, go to the transfers tab, I'll be able to see all the labeled information on this page. So company name, full name, first name, follower account. I can also add more of these labels just by clicking add and then hover over different information on this page and give it a label. So this one would be university. Click save and this will save across all LinkedIn profiles. So you only have to really do this once.
With Magical AI, you can also have us generate a message template for you. If you open up the Create button, give your message a trigger, and then you can use AI to actually generate the template for you. There's a few other areas of the product where you can use AI. So let's head on over to my Gmail and open up uh, a message or an email that I've gotten. What you'll notice here is that there are these quick reply buttons. These will help you automatically generate a quick reply, either in a positive message, a negative message, or a decline, or something custom. So this automatically generated a template for me that I can just send and reply to. This also works on uh, LinkedIn InMail if you get a lot of messages uh, like myself. You can quickly uh, use these quick replies uh, at the bottom of your InMails to generate either a decline or a positive note back to the, the recipient that sent you this. If you did want to do something more custom, you can also type slash slash and click write with AI and then prompt AI to generate a message for you. So write a sales outreach message about bananas. And this will generate a, a message based on your prompt. So now that I've reached out to all of these people on LinkedIn, I wanna track them in a Google spreadsheet. Normally I would copy and paste all of their information and their URLs into a Google spreadsheet, but you can do this really easily using Magical. Just open up the Magical panel, click on the transfers tab, and then click the transfers to button. Then you'll be able to transfer all of this information to either a new spreadsheet or to an existing spreadsheet. I'll click on a new spreadsheet. It's gonna ask if I wanna move just this profile or all the profiles that I have open in this window. I'll click on all tabs. And if you just give it a sec, Magical will move all of the information from LinkedIn into this spreadsheet in just a couple clicks. So similar to moving all of these contacts to a spreadsheet, I can also do this in a database. I'm in Salesforce here, but you can really do this with any database or form that you have to fill out. So let me add a contact to Salesforce, open up this form, and when I click into fill this form out, you can see that Magical is starting to suggest different contacts from my open tabs that it can fill out. So I can select John here and it'll fill out first name, last name, and his title. So I can do this with any tab that I have open. I just hit slash slash, and then I can scroll through and see the open tabs and fill this information, this form out with information from these tabs.